In today's What's Up Wednesday, we are having a quick conversation about the freeze versus the lock touch feature on the Active Panel version 7 Titanium. So first things first, this conversation is specific to the V7 Titanium. So if you're not sure if that's the type of panel you have, if you look at the image I have here of this panel, this is a V7. So if your um, hardware controls on the front of your panel are in the center here on this kind of tilted um, little center console, that's how you know you have the V7. If you have a different model, some of this does apply, but there are little pieces to it that may not be exactly the same way or work the same on earlier models of the active panel or even the nickel model of the version 7. So again, this one's specific to the titanium, so let's roll with it. So first up, I want to go ahead and let's talk about not a firework, go to the next slide, there we go, the freeze option. So if you had a smart board or a Promethean board with a projector prior to getting an active panel, or even if you just had um, a projector in whatever type of display with it, you may already be familiar with the freeze. Your remote probably had a freeze button um, that said freeze, F1, FRZ, something like that. So when you would click the freeze, what it would do is it would allow you to have pulled up, let's say like a PowerPoint and your students are doing a warm up, and then you could come in and open up your Gmail or put in attendance or something of that nature while they were working on that warm up. So essentially it was freezing what was happening here and you weren't disrupting them by going and pulling up your Gmail on your computer or whatever it is that you're doing on your computer. So that still works the exact same with the panel when you are connected via the cable set or if you have another source, um, something plugged into another source. So it does require you to have another device or another source active for this to work that way. But if you are connected just like you were when you had an active board or a smart board or whatever, then it works the exact same, nothing uh, new there to learn. The only piece that I would like to mention and add in that you may want to start using is the lock touch. Because if you've noticed, even when you use freeze, while it freezes the image, if you were to come up to the panel and accidentally touch on it or a student accidentally touches it, it will actually manipulate over here on your computer because even though the image is frozen, the touch is not, and this is just a large display of your computer screen. So what you may want to also do is to start using the lock touch along with the free so that your image and your touch is frozen and nothing is um, being manipulated on your computer on accident if somebody's touching the panel screen. So freeze and lock touch, students can keep looking at, reading, whatever it is you have pulled up on the panel, and then over on your computer, you can do whatever it is that you need to do. Now, just a little tip for you, if you are new to using freeze, when you're ready to unfreeze it, so unlock the touch, and then make sure that you pull back up that PowerPoint or whatever it is you have them looking at before you unfreeze. Because if not, if you still have Gmail or um, something else, attendance, power school, something like that pulled up here, when you unfreeze it, that is what will start to appear here. So just a little rule of thumb there when you are ready to go back to um, having them move along with you with whatever's on your computer. Okay, so let's talk about the lock touch option then. Let's say you don't have a computer connected, you don't have any other device connected like a document camera or something of that nature, and you're just teaching on the panel standalone. So you can hit that freeze button, but nothing's gonna happen. Same thing if you're doing screen share. It doesn't work the same way unless you are connected via cables to another source like we just discussed. But what you can do is use the lock touch feature. That way, if you are showing a diagram and you want to, you know, kind of point on the panel screen but not accidentally move anything or you're transitioning groups or out of the room to lunch or recess and you don't want students to accidentally touch it, you can turn that lock touch on and it will lock down the touch until you're ready to use it again, unlock the touch, and then go back to using the panel as normal. So just a quick little rundown of freeze versus lock touch. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.